Hey, dude. How's it going? Good, good. Uh, I took it here for some music or instruments, that sort of thing. Well, cool. Yeah, this is um, this is my music shop. Uh, it's not owned by a company. It's just owned by me. Um, you can tell it's a music shop by the little treble clef with the Wolverine poster back there. Yeah, um, we just like to have posters, I guess. But yeah. So, uh, how can I help you? Uh, specialties. We pretty much, I would say, the instruments we mainly um, provide for would be piano, um, French horn, and bass guitar. And that would just be simply because um, a I play all those instruments, those instruments I play, and because the companies, um, well, not company, but the shop is owned by me. I thought that I. Um, if I supply those, it will, I will have interest in them. I'll be able to supply advice to people like you for coming in. And also because piano is um, is a fairly common instrument. May, if you're going to play an instrument, a lot of people play piano is what I'm trying to say. Uh, French one, not so much. Bass guitar is average, but piano is quite a big instrument. You play piano yourselves? Oh right, okay, so I take it you're looking for piano music. Cool, um, you're looking for like sheet music copies or books or... Right, um, well, I've got a few things here. Um, do you have a particular style you like? Slow pieces? I'm the same, yeah. I prefer the slow pieces. Um, have you heard of Livoco Ainaldi? I think I'm pronouncing that right. Yes, he is a company. Um, he is a good composer. You have heard of him, I take it. Yeah, he is uh, one of my favourites, I would say. Um, in fact, I have a couple of his books over here if you want to look. Let me just get to them. Right. Right, this is uh, the first book I'm going to show you um, from Iron Audi. Um, it's called Night Book. Uh, it's a very, very interesting um, book that um, has a very big range of pieces, it's not necessarily just slow pieces like I know he um, has to do a lot of his, his first piece for example, um, Night Book after the, like the piece the book was named after, is a very fast intense piece um, that doesn't necessarily have to be plain on piano, well of course it has to be played on piano but it, you can add um, different instruments with it, um, I think flute is one, I doubt you could do it with a whole concert band or orchestra but um, it's definitely a very emotional piece you could call it lots of different range of um, techniques and um, yeah this is a brilliant book I personally can't play all the pieces in here um, I wish I could because as you know I know he's a brilliant composer um, but yeah, his pieces are fantastic and um, though he is notoriously famous for you know, his, his slow pieces, um, I'm sure that you would enjoy this dance, like the crane dance for example. This is a piece that I really enjoy. If you just look. So, Fantastic piece, well, well written. Um, yes, and Berlin Song as well. So, very good piece. I'm a big fan of his, as you can probably tell. Okay. Well, I've I have just assumed that you're a competent player, but um, could be mistaken. 
you how long have you played? That's a fairly long time, so I presume that you're fairly competent and you know what you're doing with piano. Yeah, so I won't show you there. Okay. How old you son? It's a good age to start playing from actually. I started playing from um, seven years old myself. And no, I don't seem very old. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, I've been playing for quite a long time as well. Um, so you want to look for a couple of books for him as well? Yeah, of course. Um, let me see here. Um, I think we have some around here. Um, ah, here we go. This is um, a beginner's book. Um, they're not necessarily the easiest of books to play. You say he's played keyboard before. Yeah, um, if he's played keyboard before, he should find these a bit easier than a complete beginner. Um, just because he'll have to learn. The only thing he'll really have to learn is to use the left hand as well as um, the right hand rather than just playing chords with the left hand but um, this is a good book that seems to get quite harder um, thought my travel club falling off, sorry it seems to get harder as the book pro progresses but um, I think it should be okay um, for him especially if he's come from keyboard like you say so that's upgrade as you can see in this corner, from grade 0 to 1. So, um, I don't do grades myself, I just play for... Sorry about the background noise. Um, I just play for th the sake of playing, really. I play for the enjoyment of it rather than um, actually progressing through grades. I just don't like the pressure of exams, um, that sort of thing. You're the same? Yeah, I just... It's nice to have, say, the grade 8, but it's just the pressure of getting up there. It's just, I don't, I don't like it myself. So, you think that you'll be okay with that book? You think it'll be too easy? Okay, well, we have another book that could be um, available for him. Um, it's called Easy Piano Tunes. So... Obviously, it should be okay for him. Um, they aren't necessarily the easiest tunes. I mean, for someone like you, you could obviously play them easily, but um, the it's not as basic as just introducing the left hand. Um, it's also um, well, I suppose the left hand. Creating melody with the right hand, or creating harmony, sorry, not melody. But yeah, this is a good book for beginners. Um, not necessarily the complete beginners, but you say that your song's played keyboard before, so it shouldn't be a problem. That's gonna be good. Okay, I'll just pop this over here. Right. I'm gonna look for another book for yourself. Okay, um, well. We do have one more. Um, and personally, I think this is a very interesting composer. It's he's not like Ian Audi. His name is Craig Armstrong, and I really like the cover of this book. It's just it's very basic. Um, doesn't need too much detail, um, but its pieces are really beautiful. But they are tricky. For example. Just, just looking at the pieces, they are quite difficult. Um, my personal favourite of his, if I can find it, um, apparently I can't find it. Ah, here we go, page, page 38. It's called uh, Classical Love Theme. Have you heard it before? That's what I thought. 
I didn't think I heard it until um, I started playing it and then I realised it's actually one of the piano pieces used in Love Actually. Yeah, um, I don't know whether you remember the scene where, I can't remember the character's name, but the guy goes to Kira Knightley's door and he's playing like Silent Night. Yeah, when he walks away I believe that that is the, um, the piano piece that's playing, but it might not be that bit, I can't really remember the film too well. Okay, well those are our piano books that you say you might like. Yeah, of course, we'll move on. Are you interested in Tokyo? You are. Well, French horn is notoriously famous for apparently being the most instrument, the hardest instrument, sorry, to play. Um, I suppose that's really the only brass instrument I've played. I played tenor horn before, but it wasn't too much of a big step up, so I wouldn't really know the difference between. Do you play any brass instruments yourself? You don't. Okay, well, French horn is a very good instrument to start on. However, um, you may need to get ex like outside lessons um, because that's what I had to do. I don't think you'd be able to learn it yourself. Are you wanting to play in an orchestra or a concert band at all? Yeah, well, French horns are always needed in uh, concert bands and orchestras. They're, they are amazing instruments, in my opinion. Uh, we do have one for sale, yes. Um, do you want me to show you? Yeah, of course, I'll just grab it. This is the uh, French horn. You've probably seen it before. Very twisty. Yeah, I like the look of it as well. I mean, it does look like an amazing instrument. Yeah, well, of course, I'll show you some of the music. This book is um, second hand. Um, it used to be mine, but I've um, stopped uh, using this book since. So, um, this is the book called Team Brass. Um, yeah, says brass band instruments, but um, French one isn't necessarily a brass band instrument. It's more of used in like um, you know concerts. Um, concert bands, orchestras, that sort of thing. But um, this is a pretty basic introduction. Um, like the other piano books I showed you earlier, it kind of gets harder as it goes along. Um, so the, the beginning of the book is going to be um, harder than the, the end of the book. Um, but it doesn't necessarily just have pieces, it has exercises such as slurs, which you may not know which, um, like what they are now, but um, I'm sure if you start learning to play the instrument then you will know. Do you know music notation? I'm sure you do if you play piano. Yeah, well it's just like that. I'm sure you've heard of arpeggios and scales before. And it literally just tells you the different um, the different things you need to know, such as slurring and different arpeggios to play, different scales to warm up with. Yes, um, it doesn't have to, it's not necessarily just pieces, but there, there are a lot of pieces in there that you can practice with, um, each with very difficulty, so. Yeah. You don't think French horns are instrument? No, I get a lot of people say that. You know what? more into different types of music if it's that sort of thing. Big band music, well isn't that convenient that I play bass guitar? What a coincidence. Um, we do have a bass guitar for sale. Do you want me to show you that? Sure, it's a, it's a bit dusty. 
Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I have a lot to smash the light in. Um, this is my bass guitar. Storm's bass guitar, sorry. It's a four string bass. Um, it is made by Wesley. I should say. Yes. Um, Wesley's a fairly famous brand. Or well, make, I should say. Um, of course, this could be. I don't want to hit the ceiling. This could be um, put into a amp if you wish to purchase an amp. But um, of course, you can. You don't have to have an amplifier to play it. Yet it is quite quiet. So in things like um, jazz bands or big bands that you're wanting to join, you would have to amplify. Uh, otherwise it won't be heard over the, the, the different instruments within the band. Um, but yeah, it is a full size bass as you can see. Four strings which I have already mentioned. Um, and I think it's a very nice looking bass. It's got a rounded bottom. As you can see. It's rounded. Um, with a peg there. Um, just for the strap, so you can stand up whilst playing. Um, I personally sit down while playing, I just find it more comfortable, but in things like big bands, they will generally want you to stand up. Yeah, we do sell a couple of straps, but I don't want to show you them. No offence. Just I'm sure that you want to get back to doing whatever you're doing. Yeah, okay, well. We don't really have um, any music for the bass guitar per se. I haven't really got a book that can that's just for bass guitar. Um, but there are a few instruments. I was personally taught by a woodwind teacher to play um, the bass guitar, and he plays for um, his own band. And he was just using um, a woodwind book to teach me uh, the different scales. I, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right in saying that the the book will have to be um, in bass clef, otherwise it will get confusing. Especially if I can, uh, you can read bass clef, can't you? Because you play piano. Yeah, good. Um, it should be too hard for you to play bass guitar then. If you are wanting to read the music, um, then in, in big bands and such, they will give you music to read and play. Um, and it shouldn't be too hard if you can already read bass clef. Yeah. You're interested? Oh, cool. Okay. I'll just pop this to one side. Right, is there anything else? We do have two um, acoustic guitars, but one of them might be not what you're expecting. Yeah, I'll just grab it. Now, I purchased this in Spain a while ago. And some say it's a ukulele. Um, I honestly don't know the difference between ukulele and acoustic guitar. Um, this is the guitar. It's um, really cheap. Not really cheap, it's really cute and small. So it's a V on the bottom, because that's, um, that's the place where I got it from. Um, it is really small. As you can hear, it's hollow. If you listen, yeah, it's hot inside, but um, further up the neck, you can see there, it's not so hot. And then you've obviously got the tuning pegs, um, but this will sell for relatively cheap because it's I can't play it. 
person I can play acoustic guitar but I can't play this just it's the frets as you can see if you see close up I don't know whether your eyes can focus on guitars but um, the frets are very small so it's really hard to play different chords especially if you've got big fingers like I have um, you play piano so I'm sure that you've evolved um, but yeah it's it's a cute little guitar yeah I quite like it it was, it was cheap when I bought it so um, I don't think that it would be any problem selling that cheap um, yeah we don't really have book music for the bass guitar or the acoustic guitar we we generally just sell sheet music. Um, a lot of mine I've collected just from playing in big bands and possibly stealing them. I hope stealing is not the right word. Borrowing forever is more a better word for it. Better words. Um, but if if you see anything, sorry I've kept you song, but um, by all means look around and if you need something. Um, just come and find me, I'm sh I'll be sure to help you out. It's alright? Okay, see you later man.